So I bought something pretty cool on Amazon. So this is, I call it an Orbeez gun, but this is a gel ball blaster toy. It's basically a machine gun that shoots these little tiny balls they call Orbeez, that's what I call them. But anyway, I bought this when I was in Utah. I've already used it, but let's check it out. I'm gonna do a review on it. All right, the set I got has two guns in it. So it has this yellow gun and it has this blue gun. This one's already put together and it's already charged. I'll put this one together and show you what's in the kit. So this one came with 100,000 Orby balls. So they look like this, little tiny specks. And then you soak them in water and then they expand. After they expand, they look like this. These things bounce all over the place, so be warned. You drop one, it's just gonna bounce all over. So this kit came with this bucket, it's collapsible. Right now it's full, there's probably about 20,000 Orbeez in here, I don't know, there's a bunch. But it's filled up with water to here, um, all the balls are in there. So yeah, they start off as a little dot, and then they get, they're like the size of a big BB. So anyway, these are already ready. It comes with these grenade looking holders. These you just dip in the bucket and then it fills up and then you put them on the gun upside down. So let me put the pieces on. So there's this, what's that, a flash protector? But that's like the end of the barrel. Yeah, it's got a flash guard. Oh, I don't know why. It comes with, it comes with these orange holders, so this is what the actual Orbeez holder will go on. Um, it slides onto here, and there's like two little slashed ends that it goes that way, so the slash ends go to the back. We found out they're a little bit hard to put on. This one I've already taken off and put on, so it's probably gonna be easier. Or not. And you just gotta snap it in there so that you can see all the way into the hole. So then when you fill this, twist it onto that, and then they top feed into there. The last thing is the battery. So this yellow one came with like a skinny battery, and the blue one came with a little bit bigger battery. Um, it has a battery release button on there to take it out. But yeah, blue one has this battery, the yellow one has that one. You can buy these separately online, but I bought them together. So anyway, let's do this one. Each battery comes with its own charger. They're interchangeable, it doesn't matter. It's got like this four pin connection on there. It only goes on there one way. But anyway, then it has a USB connection on the other side. It doesn't come with like a power cube or the plug for it, but you can charge it pretty much on anything. Um, I think I plugged one into my laptop and it charged it. So anyway, that's how you charge it. It comes with two sets of goggles, this set anyway. It comes with these targets that are like spring activated. You just have to put the black pieces on there. And then it comes with all the Orbeez. So these are just some of the Orbeez. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags there. There's some little tiny bags. I don't know why it came with them. I thought there was another one, yep. Here's another one. So anyway, the battery, once it's charged, goes in like that. There's an on-off switch on the bottom. Right now it's off. But once you turn that sucker on, this one only has one firing mode and it's auto. So you can't really do a single shot. I guess you can. Say it, it double fire sometimes, but anyway. That's this one. And then here's the blue one. Same thing. Turn the button on on the bottom. So it fires at a pretty high rate. I think the range on these are 90 feet. So a lot of people are gonna ask, do these things hurt? They sting a little bit if you're really close. If you're 40, 50 feet away, you can catch them in your hand, like you can see them coming. But I say within 10 feet, they sting a little bit. Nobody got any welts or anything, so it wasn't that bad. All right, I'm gonna go outside, fill these up, and show you what it looks like when they shoot. This one didn't go off. All right, this is how I fill them. If you have enough in the bucket, you can do it by just opening the bucket, put your grenade thing in there, and just keep 
tipping it until you get them all in there. Like that. These do dry out a little bit, so if you add more water, they will expand again. I found out. So you tip the gun upside down like this, twist this on, or like that. So I, I did notice if you have a lot of water in the bucket, the water is going to come out. And then some of the, some of the Orbeez came out too. I don't know if you saw that or not. Uh, and when you shoot, water will come out. You just don't want to get the battery wet. So yeah, if you have too much water in there, too much water in there. This bucket has a strainer. You can tip it upside down, get the water out. But I want to keep them wet so they don't dry out. So let's shoot at some targets. Yeah, these are really fun little toys. Um, I would definitely turn off the power when you're not using them because the battery will drain or take the battery out. The charge holds pretty long. Um, I haven't had a battery run out yet and I haven't recharged them since I got them and that was like July 13th. So I'll put a link to Amazon where I bought these and they're really fun. So if you get the two pack, I think it was 50 something dollars, but they're really not that much. They're like 20 something, $29 for one, I think. But it's really fun. They don't hurt that bad. The Orbeez basically explode when you shoot something hard, but sometimes they don't and they'll just bounce around. So I would not use this indoors. I would only do it outdoors. Um, I'm not sure if it's safe for kids and pets. I'm not gonna shoot it around my pets. And my grandkids that play with it, we just keep the little ones away from the Orbeez. So yeah, it's really fun. I enjoy it and I'm gonna shoot some stuff. Out. 